next I'm going to teach you guys, I'm going to go through just kind of the basics on how to field an infield grounder. So first I'm going to teach it over here too, I'm just going to go over it again. Um, first is line it up with your left foot. This just gives you a good read on the ball. You can see it's bounce and you can make sure that you're going to be able to line up yourself with it. Next is you're going to want to actually sweep from the left foot to the middle. Um, in case there is a bad hop, you have most of your body to block this ball. You can take it off the chest, you can take it off the arm. In bad times, you can take it off the chin, the face, the eye, the cap, something like that, but it gives you the best chance to sweep the ball good, cleanly, and if it is missed, take it off one of your body parts. Uh, last thing is the shuffle. You can either do a shuffle shuffle if you have a little bit more time or just a straight shuffle. Um, that lines you up with your target. You want to make sure that both of your feet facing the target where you can actually make that good hard throw to first base. And then the last thing is just your plant foot. You always want to make sure your plant foot is you know, planted really, really well so you can make a nice, strong throw to first base. The main thing you want to make sure when you're the ground here is that you have a wide, solid, low base. This gives you you know, a good balance that you need when you're in a ground ball. You don't want to be high and tall because you will probably fall over yourself. Um, next thing you want to do is when you first see the grounder being hit towards you, you want to make sure that you line up with your left foot. Since you will be offset a little bit, you'll see the bounce, you know, that the ball is projecting. This gives you the best ability to time, you know, your catch and catch the ball. So, as you can show, he's going to roll with the ball. I will consistently line it up with my left foot. That is the first thing you do. You want to make sure over and over that you consistently line it up with your left foot. As you can see, over and over. Left foot, there it is. You don't catch it there, but the best way to do it. Left foot. Next, so your next what you're gonna to want to do is make the transition from your left foot and reading the bounce to moving into the middle of your stance, where you're actually gonna feel the ground ball. Now with this, you see a lot of players that it seems like they pull the glove in to their chest. What they're actually doing is they're actually going towards the ball. So it looks like they're pulling in their chest, but they're actually taking their momentum towards first base. So like I said in the last clip, he's gonna roll the ball. There it is, left foot. Biggest thing is your left foot. Now, as you can see, roll it again. I'm going to move into the ball. You see it there? I read the bounce, read the bounce. Okay. Left foot, left foot, move in the middle. There it is right there. Go again. Left foot, left foot. Read the bounce. As you can see, I have a low, sturdy, wide stance. It gives me balance and it gives me the best transition to move and actually throw in my ball to first base. Next thing you're going to want to do, it's going to lead you to the shuffle, shuffle, percent, plant your right foot, you can throw it. So, as you can see, he's going to roll the ball, roll it, there it is, left foot, middle of the stance, shuffle, shuffle, and from here, I should be able to make a clean, solid throw to the first baseman. Do it again, right here, left foot, catch, shuffle, shuffle. As you can see, made a good, you're planting your foot so you can make a good throw. Roll it again, one more time. Read, plant, shuffle, there it is. Last thing you're going to do is actually make a throw. You want to make sure you have a solid plant foot, which will actually lead to your throw. The more solid your plant foot is, the more likely the better your throw is going to be. So as I said, he's going to roll it. There it is, left foot, middle, shuffle. As you can see, good plant foot, brings the ball up, make a solid throw to first base. The next thing you need to do as an outfielder is kind of just make sure you're always, you know, square with your target, you're ready, you know where you're going to throw. Uh, make sure you do see your cutoff, make sure you know, the cutoff is the one usually with the hands up in the air. Um, if your cutoff, you know, is lazy and doesn't do that, you know, just kind of know where he is. Have that mental note, okay, the guy's going for second or third, he's going to be lined up between me and third. Um, make your throw very accurately. You know, if it's a longer throw, you can one-hop it. Just make sure it's accurate. Um, so, just a couple things, which is catching it on this side, you know, tracking it. Catching it, it's a shorter distance, that's one of the biggest things. Um, and then just hitting your cutoff consistently. It's one of the biggest things. Um, distance, all you have to do is just one hop it. So right now I'm gonna show you a couple, you know, run throughs on actually how to catch it. A pop fly. Like I told you in the segment, you know, where I was just kind of showing my face. Uh, when a pop-up is hit to you, left right side of the body, you wanna be as close as you can to this hand. You wanna shuffle through, get your cut off, nice in the chest, or if it's a longer, you know, one hop it. But always make sure to throw it up. 
Catch it on that right side, it's closer to this hand. Um, as you're as a beginner, usually you'll, you'll uh, catch it with two hands like this. This is something you're taught, you know, as you're older, you kind of sway away from it a little bit because it just, it's a little bit, I don't know how to explain it, but you just sway away from it. So if you do toss it, you know, catch it on that right side, make sure it's close to your hand. Um, so we can go again, one more time. It's here, as you can see. If I was lined up to throw to third, let's say my cutoff is between me and third, as you can see, I'm set up to make a good, you know, hard, solid throw to that cutoff.